Well, hi, all my friends. It's hot. Now it's humid. <laughs> yeah. Um, <clears throat> anyway, so um, very glad to uh, finally get to see your face, Thomas. Yahoo! <laughs> ah, that's so great. And uh, no, you didn't scare me. <laughs> Funny. Um, <laughs> so anyway, thank you for that. I appreciate that so much. It's so nice to put a face to your name, you know? And if my other subscribers could do that, that would be great. If you want to send me your picture and you want my um, email, let me know. I'll, I'll give it to you, okay? All right, so uh, we are in the, uh, in Jeremiah, we are in chapter 10. So I'm going to go ahead and read that to you. Oh, what else? Uh, re reconnecting with, with family on Facebook. <laughs> I haven't done Facebook my first time. <laughs> um, <clears throat> you know, this YouTube thing keeps me busy uh, pretty much. And uh, plus work and my music. And uh, I, I have a lot of um, people in my family who are deaf or hard of hearing. And so, you know, music not necessarily doesn't really mean a whole lot to many of them because they can't hear it. So, but they're supportive and they're loving people. So I, you know, I know that they uh, appreciate talent and, um, and so forth. So anyway, I, I put a lot of my music on my channel. Um, you know, I've got other friends who might want to listen to it as well. Um, <clears throat> uh, so anyway, um, not sure what's going on with these email things with Trump. Um, you know, if we were just, you know, all loving and went with our heart's intent and we just, you know, found ways to help each other and uh, we all had the, you know, desire to, to be altruistic, uh, um, to love neighbor, okay, as you love yourself. You, if we all did that, we all loved each other, not just ourselves, but each other as much as we love ourselves, we wouldn't be having all these ills in the world. Think about it, right? We would not, because we would be loving each other. Ah. That's what Jesus was trying to tell us, you know? So, I know it's simplistic, but quite profound and very difficult when you're dealing with different personalities and you've got thoughts coming in your head and you're trying to wart that, you know, thwart those off and you're trying to you know just I mean that's why Jesus told Howard Storm just love the person you're with just one you know one person at a time right and if you do that then the rest will follow so love the person that you're with um, be loving to your friends and and that just means being charitable giving of your time that doesn't mean literally loving them but just, just be loving towards them. And um, yeah, okay, so enough talking. We'll get on to the Bible here. Um, but anyway, I just, I, if I hear anything more this morning, I just know that, that uh, Junior, Donald Trump Junior, met with some Russian lawyer and was given some information. She wasn't vetted. They were, you know, young. In the campaign not not well they're they're not political they're business people so you know it's who you know in business and that kind of thing and so they were mostly I think following a business model but yet even in business you want to know who the players are uh, basically so I don't know um, anyway all right so it doesn't really matter in the long run I mean, it, it made to a lot of people, but, um, you know, in the big grand scheme of things, love is what matters. Okay, chapter 10. Great disparity between God and idols. The people warned for a removal 
their desolation lamented. So, okay, you know, when you love other other gods, other idols, other than God, you get yourself in big trouble. So, hear ye the word which the Lord speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. Thus saith the Lord, learn not the way of the heathen, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, for the heathen are dismayed at them. For the customs of the people are vain, for one cutteth a tree out of the forest and work of the hands of the workmen with the axe. They deck it with silver and with gold, they fasten it with nails and with hammers, that it move not. They are upright as a palm tree, but speak not. They must needs be born because they cannot go. Be not afraid of them, for they cannot do evil, neither also is it in them to do good. For so much as the so, sorry, for so much as there is none like unto thee, O Lord, thou art great, and thy name is great in might. Who would not fear thee, O King of nations? For the for to thee doth it apparent appertain, for as much as among the wise men of the nations and in their kingdoms there is none like unto thee. But they are altogether brutish and foolish. The stock is a doctrine of vanities. Silver spread into plates is brought from Tarshish and gold from Upaz. And the work of the workmen in the hands of the founder, blue and purple is their clothing. They are all the work of cunning men. But the Lord is the true God. He is the living God and an everlasting king. At his wrath, the earth shall tremble, the nations shall not be able to hide, abide in his uh, dig indignation. Thus shall ye say unto them, The gods have not made the heavens and the earth, even they shall perish from the earth and under these heavens. He hath made the earth by his power, uh, he has established the word by his wisdom, and the hand stretched out the heavens by his discretion. When he uttereth his voice, there is a multitude of waters in the heavens, and he causes the vapors to ascend from the ends of the earth. He maketh lightnings with rain, and bringeth forth the wind out of his treasures. Every man is brutish in his knowledge. Every founder is confounded by the graven image, for his molten image is falsehood, and there is no breath in them. They are vanity in the work of errors. In the time of their visitation, they shall perish. The portion of Jacob is not like them, for he is the former of all things. Israel is the rod of his inheritance. The Lord of hosts is his name. Gather up thy wares out of the land, O inhabitant of the fortress. For thus saith the Lord, Behold, I will sling out the inhabitants of the land at, his, at this once and will distress them uh, that they may find it so. Woe is me for my hurt, my wound is grievous. But I said, truly this is grief and I must bear it. My tabernacle is spoiled and my cords are broken. My children are gone forth of me and they are not. There is none to stretch forth my tent anymore and set up my curtains. For the pastors have become brutish it was not sought the Lord. Therefore they shall not prosper, and all their flocks shall be scattered. Behold, the noise of the brood is come, and great commotion of the north country to make the cities of Judah desolate in the dens of dragons. O Lord, I know that the way of man is not in himself. It is not in man that walketh to direct his steps. O Lord, correct me, but with judgment, not with thine anger lest thou bring me to nothing. Pour out thy fury, fury sorry, upon the heathen, and know, that thee, and know thee not, and not upon the families that call not on thy name, for they have eaten up Jacob and devoured him, consumed him, and have made his habitation desolate. Chapter 11. The word that came to Jeremiah from the Lord, saying, Hear ye the words of the covenant, and speak, unto the men of Judah 
and the inhabitants of Jerusalem, and say thou unto them, Thus saith the Lord God of Israel, Cursed be the man that obeyeth not the words of his covenant, which I commanded your fathers in the day that I brought them forth out of the land of Egypt in the iron furnace, saying, Obey my voice, and do them according to all which I commanded you. So shall ye be my people, and I will be your God, that I may perform the oath which I have sworn unto your fathers to give them a land flowing with milk and honey. And it is this day. Then answered I and said, So be it, O Lord. Then the Lord said unto me, Proclaim all these words in the cities of Judah and in the streets of Jerusalem, saying, Hear ye the words of this covenant, and do them. For I earnestly protested unto your fathers in the day that I brought them out of the land of Egypt, even unto this day, rising early and protesting, saying, Obey my voice. Yet they obeyed not, nor inclined their ear, and they walked every one in their imagination of their evil heart. Before I will bring upon them all the words of this covenant, which I commanded them to do, but they did not do them. And the Lord said unto me, A conspiracy is found among the men of Judah, among the inhabitants of Jerusalem. They are turned back to the iniquities of their forefathers, which refused to hear my words. They went after other gods to serve them. The house of Israel and the house of Judah have broken my covenant, which I made with their fathers. Therefore, thus saith the Lord, Behold, I will bring evil upon them. They will not be able to escape. They shall, and, through, and though they shall cry unto me, I will not hearken unto them. Then shall the cities of Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem go and cry unto the gods whom they offer incense. But they shall not save them, and at the time of their, at all, at the time of their trouble. For according to the number of the cities were thy gods, O Judah, and according to the number of the streets of Jerusalem that ye have set up altars to that shameful thing, even altars to burn incense unto Baal. Therefore pray not thou for the people, neither lift up, cry, or pray for them, for I will not hear them in the time that they cry unto me for their trouble. What hath my beloved to do in mine house, seeing that thou hast wrought lewdness, and many the holy flesh is passed from thee? When thou dost evil, then thou rejoicest. The Lord called thy name a green olive leaf, fair and of goodly fruit. With the noise of great tumult, he hath kindled fire upon it, and the branches of it are broken. For the Lord of hosts that planted the, thee hath pronounced evil against thee for the evil of the house of Israel, and for the house of Judah, which they have done against themselves, to provoke me to anger in the offering of incense to Baal. And the Lord hath given me knowledge of it, and I know it. And then thou showest me their doings, and I was like a lamb or an ox that is brought to the slaughter. I knew not that they had devised devices against me, saying, Let us destroy the tree with the fruit thereof, and let us cut him off from the land of the living, that his name may be no more remembered speaking of Jesus but of Lord but O Lord of hosts that judges righteously that triest the reins in the heart let me see that the vengeance of them for unto thee I have revealed my cause therefore thus saith the Lord of men of Anthoth sorry Anathoth and thy and they seeketh thy life saying prophecy not in the name of the Lord that thou diest not by our hand Therefore, thus saith the Lord of hosts, Behold, I will punish them, and the young men shall die by the sword, and their sons and daughters shall die by famine, and there shall be no remnant of them, for I will bring evil upon the men of Anathoth, even the year of their visitation. Okay, so all throughout the Old Testament, it's really talking about Jesus, okay, um, and his relationship with Israel, and why you know he got he came and and then of course we had the disciples and then then the rest of us were brought in so um very interesting i also think too that um the second coming is already in us i think that christ in us is the second coming um it's just something because i've been reading swedenberg that i've come to that conclusion Anyway, uh, leave me thumbs up, like, subscribe, and comment, or a picture, okay? 
talk to you later. Bye.